Okay, sorry. So yes, you say about a priest. Your book. You're from Altoona. You're Franklin Lamka. Right. And sorry, my thing didn't work. So GoPro. That's okay. Okay, so this is your trilogy about a priest who. An evil priest who uh, wants to do away with two gypsies because they witnessed him doing a dastardly deed. And it takes place in the mid 18th century and ends up, starts in Europe and ends up in the United States, in the America during okay. the French and Indian War. Okay. And ends with the fall of Quebec. Oh, wow. Okay. Sounds very dramatic. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Yep. This is, this is my display for my book. Hello. Weathering Depths in Johnstown by the Numbers. Hello, Miss Lucci. Hi, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. So this is some free advertising for your book. So yes, you're doing uh, bicycles and broomsticks. All right, is this like a trilogy? It's a trilogy and it's a modern day fairy tale. What happens when a fairy tale witch moves in next door? Yeah. Um, and then the two over here are daily devotions. Mm -hmm. One is overcoming obstacles, anxiety, yep. um, and this is a police family devotional. Okay. All right. And you're from Beaver. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Well, I'm just making the rounds and. Well, I'm going to go, so, okay, so yes, we have this in several tents, we'll see what's in this tent over here, hello, I'm Paul Ricci, I'm, uh, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media, so you wrote a book, and you wrote a book about the Q Creek Mine Disaster, Oh, that would be Bill, oh Bill, I wrote okay. a book of short stories, yes, that are set in this region, Okay. Uh, the title story is um, a negative term for landscapers. Ah, uh, so, ground scratchers. Exactly. Yeah. And then there's a couple of books of poems here as well that are mine. Okay. Uh, cool. That's what I'm bringing today to the All right. festival. So. Okay. All right. I'm just making the rounds. Sure. And you're yeah. from? I'm from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yep. Okay. Cool. And all right. So is, are you holding the fort for Bill Arnold? Yep. You, you his daughter? I'm his um, family friend. Oh, okay. All right, so yes, he's written a book about the Q Creek Mine disaster where, yes, a lot of people were saved. So yes, that was a very dramatic tale and back in 2002. Okay, I'm just making the rounds. Okay, well, Hello certainly that's, that's a very nice, nice get up you have there. Thank you. And your book, Ah, my books. Books. I write speculative fiction, so that includes science fiction, fantasy, mm -hmm. modern urban paranormal uh, works, paranormal uh, horror. Okay. So I write a little bit of all of those. I also write uh, software and systems engineering books oh, and well. books on AI and consciousness. Okay. Well, and that... I make magic wands. Yes. Well, uh, yes. Very written pretty. The, uh, huh? the textbook on it. No, I have not. Okay, well, I, I, well, yes, okay, so yes, certainly, Secrets of Hawthorne House. I assume that's Nathaniel Hawthorne. Nope, that's Hawthorne, Indiana. Oh, uh, okay. The Hawthorns uh, settled there. Okay. So I got uh, Young Adult Paranormal Fantasy. Yep. This one here just came out, uh, second mm -hmm. edition. This one is a bunch of ghost stories, vampires, demons, that sort mm -hmm. of thing, short stories. Only have one left because I sold the rest of them last weekend. Okay. Uh, this came out a week ago. This yeah. is a brand new book uh, of uh, science fiction short stories. Okay. This is an alien invasion science fiction mm -hmm. trilogy. Yes. The one on the end is a prequel to that. It mm -hmm. is Hellholes. a yep. okay. uh, science fiction dystopian book. Okay. Uh, 
everything you ever wanted to know about magic wands and things you okay, didn't know. Okay, cool. New, New, and your name, New Donald Firesmith. I'm Donald Firesmith. Okay, and you're... Okay, where are you from? I'm from uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay, well, welcome to Evansburg. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Okay, well, I guess Ivan Cox isn't here, but... Uh, he was here a few minutes ago. Okay, so his book, Blood Pudding. Okay, that's cool. Well, I'm just making the rounds. Okay, a lot of other authors I'll get to later. Okay. Oh, Deidre. Yes, you you work at. Uh, yeah, we work at Pet Highlands together. Yes. Yes. Okay. And what? I forget. What do you teach? Uh, this I teach ACP, and I'm teaching business this semester. I also teach okay. education. So. Cool. Yeah. yeah so I yeah. guess so education. Well, I guess that fits right in with your children's books. Yeah. So. Okay. Yes, I'm covering this for my website. So. Oh, nice. And I'm making the rounds for I'm making the rounds. So. So, okay. And if so I take it you're from Johnstown originally? Yeah, well, no, not originally. Where where are you from? Uh, Western PA. We've moved around, so. Okay, no problem. Well, that well, that fits. So, okay. Well, good luck today. Thank you. I even have ones that say you too. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's over there in in 10K. You're welcome to say hi. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks for coming by. It's nice talking to you. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm Paul Ricci. I'm one of the other authors. I'm making the rounds and saying hi to all the, saying hello to all the other authors and giving them a chance for some free advertising. Well, this is my latest and greatest. It won an Ippy Award for Best Mystery. Um, yep. Gold medal award. It's also won a bunch of audiobook awards. Uh, it was That's nominated cool. for a thriller award for best audiobook. Photo it thief. A, um, yep. a audiophile magazine earphone okay. award. So, 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 so you do uh, like crime fiction? Um, these are thriller and crime. This, yep. like I said, is murder mystery crime mm -hmm. with a little bit of a ghost story to it. Sort of like a um, Haunting of Hill House kind of thing. Cool. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just making the rounds. So. All right, well, thank you. I appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll get to stop by. Where are you located? Uh, Tent K. Tent K. Okay. Yep. And where are you from originally? I, I live in State College. Okay. Yeah, State College. Well, welcome to Evansburg. Thank you. I've never been here before. So. Yep. Hello. Hey, how you doing? You're George. I am George. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. Oh, excellent, excellent. And I, uh, you know, I, I just do a little walk around, looking at all, meeting all the authors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what type of books do you write? Well, I write science fiction. That's what I have out now. Yeah. Um, in this book, uh, it, it just follows a um, a young archaeologist, mm -hmm. blackballed on Earth. Yep. And she accepts a uh, a uh, job on Mars to decipher some strange symbols in a cave. Okay. And, uh, um, it leads to an unexpected treasure, uh, but she has to dodge, uh, frankly, being murdered uh, to capitalize on it. So. Okay. Well. Okay. So, and what do you write? I write. I wrote. I wrote my book about Johnstown, PA, by the numbers. Okay. And um, huh? Johnstown, PA, by the numbers. By the numbers. Yes. Like looking at the trends in population, health of the area, the politics. Uh, you know, it's a non-fluff book. I actually do have a chapter. Po pro Profiling local authors in there. Mm. Okay. So, with what year? Like before the yeah, the well, flood or yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So. so okay. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's great. Oh, that's so. Really you know, and and my book actually was a finalist in the Wish, Wishing Shelf Book Awards. That's cool. So, okay. So cool. that was a. Uh, yes, I see. Wishing that was shelf. a good deal. That was a good deal. Okay, um, and you're where are you from originally? I'm from Richland originally. Okay. okay. Yeah, so, yeah, all right. And well. then I moved to uh, to Virginia in '85. Okay. Um, and then make it up here every once in a while. That's cool. Well, welcome back. Yes, thank you, thank you. All right. Saw so right. some friends and some family up here. No problem. Okay. Well, I gotta make the rounds. So. Make the rounds. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Where's your boot? Hold it up. K. K46. Okay. You'll see a nice yellow tablecloth. All right.
Yep. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. I don't like it. It's always good to do like those, right? Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm Paul Ricci. I'm with Allegheny Independent Media. I'm. I am the author. I'm covering this for my website. Okay. So, okay. And your name, your. I got two pen names. I oh, okay. Ellie Delano. Birth delay. Okay. This is young adult and that is romance. So. Okay, I see. So so the different <laughs> pen names for different kinds of books? I did because I write spicy romance and I didn't want my young adult readers finding any okay. of those. That's so cool. I like to keep them well, separate. So you're for, uh, where are you from? I am from yeah, Morgan Town. Okay. Uh, so I'm well, welcome. I saw the food well, welcome to the area. Yeah, and you. good luck to you. Thanks. Yeah, yeah it was things. actually here in 2021 when they did it last. So. Okay. I think, I don't know. I think I might have met you once before in Johnstown. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm making the round, so I'm just saying hello to everybody. Thank you. So, is your real okay? What's what's your real name or Denise? Denise. Your real name is Denise. Okay. All right. Well, thank you and have a nice. Good luck. Have a good day. Okay. Hello. Morning. How are you doing today? Okay, Mike Farrell. So yes, you're all right. So I take you right. Uh, sports books it's actually a memoir that uh, wrote about uh, my childhood yeah I kind of grew up with uh, anxieties and issues and uh, mm -hmm. moved away from uh, Maryland up to Michigan when I was 13 yeah and kind of wanted to ended up wanting to end it all mm -hmm. and then uh, things transpired to the point where I started looking for one good thing every day yeah and the right people started coming across my path mm -hmm. I ended up being a barefoot place kicker at Adrian College that's cool and uh, didn't play a single play my freshman year but uh, next year I ended up leading the nation division three that's cool. Came an All American. Okay. By the time I was done. I was a two time All American. Set an NCAA Division three record for making all my extra points. So it was perfect. Mm -hmm. and, okay. Uh, just well, a story good. of how being able to overcome that with family, faith, mm -hmm. friends. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you. Well, that's, that sounds like a good story. So, yes. well, best of luck to you. I'm, uh, okay. I'm just covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media, with my GoPro. Okay. So, great. okay. Well, have a great day. Appreciate Thank you. It. Hello. Good morning. Morning. I'm Paul Ricci. I'm your Joe Olsafsky. Yep. Oh, okay. I take it you're you're you went to West Point. I did not. Our son did. He's oh, a okay. Twenty one grad. So. Okay. So this is about. Is this like fiction about no, a fiction, fiction about about story. your son? Yep, about well, our first family pet as well too. So oh, okay. That's Cody. So we have three children. So our youngest yeah. daughter was getting married in the fall mm -hmm. of 2016. Yeah. Our uh, youngest son, rather, <clears throat> was undergoing mm -hmm. spinal fusion surgery. Yeah. Then our middle child, Nate, was in the midst of getting an appointment to West Point. Okay. So when our youngest son underwent uh, surgery we thought mm -hmm. oh, it would be a good idea to get him a lap dog to help with his recovery yeah so we got cody a little cocker spaniel oh Chihuahua i see mix. cadet so, cody okay he's all, yep the dog There's okay pictures of him in there so. all right well um, sounds to tell us our journey through west point so okay sounds interesting all right, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. And so are you from around here? Yeah, uh, outside of Somerset, so we're, okay. we're local. That's cool. All right, well, thank you, and I'm, I'm just making the rounds. Yep, so. very good. Okay, that's about World War II. Okay. Hello. That's cool. Hi. Hello, you're Brian Berkey? I'm Brian, yes. Yes. Okay, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. All right. I'll put this on YouTube. All right. So yes, I'm covering. I'm just doing a profile of all the authors okay. here in the here. Okay. So yes, this is World War II history. So yes. yours is about the. 50s. This is the story of my. Okay, uh, thank you. Yes, um, the story of my father's family during mm -hmm. World War II. Okay. Um, they uh, they had a farm just outside of Johnstown in Elton, okay, and, cool. and uh, just outside of Elton, 
And my dad went in the Army first. He was drafted the month before Pearl Harbor. Ended mm -hmm. up in the uh, Army Air Force. They went overseas in July 42, and he didn't get home until the end of June 45. Okay. And so they were in the Mediterranean. He started out in Palestine, went through Egypt, Libya, Tunisia, up okay. through Sicily and Italy. He was going up against Erwin Rommel, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. They were there at the Battle of El Alamein. And, wow. And uh, when the war ended, he was a little bit north of Rome. Wow. That's where they were based. It was Army okay. Air Force, a fighter group, 57 fighter group. Okay. And, uh, this this tells the story of the war from that perspective through his letters that he wrote mm -hmm. home. There's about 80 letters. Mm -hmm. Then his mother's diary entries are yeah. in there. And then okay. the headlines and stories out of the Johnstown Tribune, the local mm -hmm. newspaper. And so that kind of combines to tell the history of the war kind of from that perspective. Mm -hmm. Then a short while after he went in, his two of his brothers also went in yeah. went in and they ended up in the army air force but in the pacific okay instead so this is kind of the same thing for the pacific area it's their letters and postcards and things mm -hmm. that they wrote yeah as well as uh headlines and stuff out of the papers that were more focused on the pacific okay war. cool so between the two of them it kind of tells the story of the war Oh, uh, in, cool. that, in that way, from a perspective of just a basic farm family, they were, you know, my dad didn't go past eighth grade, and, and mm -hmm. uh, but they lived there and they farmed and and they fed mm -hmm. the coal miners and the steel workers in Johnstown, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and uh, that that was their their war uh, mm -hmm. and how they 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 did it. Uh, you know, Tom Brokaw. In his book, The Greatest Generation, Gener that they're part of it. Okay, cool. I mean, it was these yeah. guys that really... So, so do you still live in the area? Well, we, we, I still call this home. We actually live in the northeast corner of Maryland. Okay. But I have family in Johnstown. And, okay, cool. Uh, over in Westmoreland County and uh, Bedford County. Right. We have a, okay. we have a cabin in Bedford County near right, Shelsburg. Right. Okay, well, glad so, you made it so, back. So we spend we spend quite a bit of time here. Okay, that's cool. Well, I'm making the rounds. Sure. Just... All right. Sure. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. All righty. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Susan. Hello. How are you? Okay. Yes. I mean, I'm like covering this for my website. So. Okay. And this will be on YouTube. Okay. Great. Um, this is I write sweet romance. So okay. these are my romance novels. Mm-hmm. And here, if you want to take a, um, yep. that has my all my info on it on, okay. on the website. And these are my children's books that I write right. with another That's cool. partner. With another okay. Yeah. And uh, you're from all Ohio. Right. Okay. I came all the way from Akron, Ohio. Wow, go Zips. <laughs> go Buckeyes, huh? Yep. <laughs> Go okay. Browns! Hey, let's go. go Browns! Uh oh, yep. I'm in the wrong state. Yeah. No problem. Well, welcome to the area. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm making the rounds, so well, okay. good luck today. Sir. Making rounds? Yes, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. Oh. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to give the, every, each author a chance to speak. Oh, okay. Okay, this will be on YouTube. Okay. So, okay, you and, yes, sure. Okay, these are, um, so I have seven books. Um, yes. And I'm working on number eight, which is the sequel to number seven. Uh, several more Christmas books, as you can see over here. And then you've got some that are part of a series, and then mm -hmm. uh, Goodbye, Journey, and Tennessee Peaches are just independent. But they're all kind of like Hallmark movies. Okay. Well, a lot of people like that in a book, so. So there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. No problem. And you're uh, Michael McGovern. Michael McGovern. Hi, Paul. Yes, I'm covering this for my yes, my website, Allegheny Independent Media. Independent Media. You're on YouTube, you said. 
Yes, it will be on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel and, uh, you know, my own website. So this will be on both. So this is Blood Ending. It's a vampire novel. Okay. Um, I see you got the raven there. Right, yeah. And I got my pen. You're at Poe Poe's, one of your influences? Edgar sure. Allan Poe, yeah. yep. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, it's, uh, it's not Twilight. Mm -hmm. so this is all it's not teen fluff. Not teen fluff. Uh, These no. are mean vampires. Okay. Good old, like those old, I don't remember those old. More Peter like, Christian more, films, more like our, our Bella Lugosi. Yeah. And okay. Rice. Mm -hmm. That. Uh, okay. Very, very gothic. All right. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Good All right. Well, and you, where are you from? Pittsburgh. Okay. Well, welcome to the area. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, I'm making the rounds. So. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Hello. Yes, I'm making the rounds. I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. And this is my. Yes, I'm just giving all the trying to give all the authors a chance to speak I, uh, this will be on YouTube so 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 huh? are they just introducing themselves yes yeah and their books so you're right you you write children's books Yes, well, this is my first published children's book. Okay. All right, well, thank you. Yes, you have lots of great trinkets. Yes, I, my, I just have my books. <laughs> so, okay. And where are you from? Danny Glow. Danny Glow, okay. Uh, yes, all right. I'm from Johnstown, so. Okay, so, uh, yes, so, well, I'll be, I'll be happy to share this with you. All right, well, I'm making the new rounds. Are you planning any other books? Or? Not right now. I'm, I mean, there's okay. all, always thought of maybe making a sweet sequel to this book. No, no. Yeah, like yeah. Basketball Fear. Or, <laughs> or Baseball Bravery. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. And, uh, yeah. Yes, um, yeah. All right, well, I'm making the, making the rounds. Okay. Okay. Hi, how are Hello. you? I'm Paul Ricci. I'm making the rounds. I'm I'm uh, covering this for my website, Allegheny awesome. Independent Media. Cool. And uh, so I tell you, Joseph, and, how do you say your name? Thank you, Gagermeyer. Gagermeyer. Okay, and you wrote, you're writing. This is uh, a Civilized Mountain. This is a history book about Evansburg. Okay. Um, it took me about two and a half years to write. Yeah. It's a labor of love. I've lived here my whole life, you know. Yeah. So. That's cool. I'm sure there is lots of history here lots. that people don't know. Yeah. It's one of those things. They... Growing up, I was like, this place is boring. I don't like it. And then uh -huh. you do research. And this place is awesome. I don't want to leave. Uh -huh. so. Yeah, well, okay. My book is on Johnstown by the numbers. Oh, so. cool. Yeah. I'm in, I'm in, Ru I'm in uh, Kent K. Sure, I'll stop by. Sounds yeah. yeah, good. All right. Well, thank you. I'm making thank the round. You. So. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Thanks. Sure. So here we are at Tent F. I'm Paul Ricci. I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. Okay, you're Sarah Beddo. Yes. Okay, and what type of books do you write? I write poems. Poems, okay, that's cool. Yeah, so that one is my full length. It is somewhere between poetry collection and memoir. So it tells okay. the story of five years All right. teaching. And then this one is... Um, this is my abortion chapbook, basically. So it's oh, okay. the story of love and then love gone wrong. Yes, I'm sure. I guess hot topic around here. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, so where are you? So are you from around here? I'm from Pittsburgh. Okay. Well, welcome to the area. Thank you. And uh, well, this will be on my website and on YouTube. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Okay. Hello. I'm Paul Ricci, and you're Trish Muren. Muren. Okay. Yes. Yes, I'm covering this for my website, so, and this will be on YouTube, and yes, so this is like a book, uh, child, you write children's books? You write children's books, yeah. Like it's supposed to be, ed, ed, well, A, a through Z for OCD. Yep, for anxiety and some challenges. Um, yep. I've worked in a school district for the first 32 years, so. Yeah, which school district? Um, Central Cambria School District. Oh, okay. So I'm the assistant superintendent yeah. um, there, um, but teaching, counseling, principal, you know, curriculum okay. director. And just some things to help so some kids. Some more so, behavior problems. Yeah, this is just a, 
help kids with some, if they're going through some bullying issues, how to stand up for themselves mm -hmm. in good, positive ways. And this yeah. is just, again, you know, trying to overcome anxieties and some helpful hints to help. Okay, and you're from around here, region? Yeah. Ebensburg? Okay. Okay, well, thank you. And uh, well, I'm over at 10K. I wrote my book about Johnstown by the numbers. So. Oh, okay, that's perfect. Okay, thank sure. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Is the auth L.A. Detweiler? Is she not here? She's on her way here. Right okay. Well, all right. I'm just covering this. Covering, giving all the authors a chance to speak. My phone number. Well, sorry, not my phone number. I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. So, so she writes supernatural thrillers. Some, yeah. Uh oh, you're L.A. Detweiler. Hi, right, just in time. I'm covering this for my website. Oh, okay. Allegheny Independent Media. That's awesome. And I'm giving, trying to give all the authors a chance to speak. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll cover this sort of the way C-SPAN does all their, has their book TV on weekends. Oh, that's cool. So, okay, I'm, uh, yeah, so you write supernatural thrillers? I write crime thrillers. I have the supernatural thriller. I write horror. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where are you from? Okay. Well, welcome. To, welcome. So, well, good luck today. I'm making the rounds. So. Okay. Nice to meet you too. I'm over at 10K. My book is on Johnstown by the numbers. Awesome. So. Okay. Hello, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm How Paul you, Ritchie, I'm, I'm with Allegheny Independent Media. How are you? Covering, yes, I'm covering this for my for the website and this will be on YouTube. Sure. <laughs> so, okay, I'm giving up, trying to give all the authors a chance to speak. Appreciate so, okay, that. so you're, you, what type of books do you write? Uh, I am a crime author. I have two standalone crime and a political thriller. Okay, well that's cool. Okay, and uh, well, and are you from the around here? I'm from Philadelphia, but I went to the University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown. Okay. So I know this area pretty well. All right. Some of these are, are they some of these set in the... Uh... Both of these are actually set in small towns. Around here? I or? grew up in one. This one's uh, Liverpool, Pennsylvania, so it's down towards Harrisburg. Okay. Um, but there's a, then this takes place in a small town as well. Yeah. Where I grew up, a place called Hapro, Pennsylvania. Okay, well, which I could guess easily be Johnstown, which could easily yeah. be Evansburg, yeah. which could All easily right. be Liverpool. Okay. So I do base my stuff in small towns. That's cool. Well, well, thank you. I know it sounds interesting. Uh, well, thank best of luck to you today. Thank you very much. Sure. Hi. Good morning. Your, how, are how you? you say Karuna Das? That's yeah, that's my that's my pen and spirit name. Okay, so you write uh, supernatural thrillers? Uh, no, I, I write literature flavored by mysticism. Okay. And so this book, my first novel, is uh, is a sci-fi book that is uh, it does have a sort of thriller element to it, contemporary real world sci-fi. Mm -hmm. Won an award for visionary fiction, which is the opposite of dystopian. So mm -hmm. sci-fi with an optimistic or hopeful outlook. Utopian. It kind of yeah has the utopian okay. vision. This book is actually literary fiction coming of age novel, and okay. a fictionalized memoir. So it's cool. Inspired by my own uh, journey to uh, adulthood. Okay, and where where is you are you from around here? I live in Pittsburgh. Okay. Well, welcome, welcome to Ebensburg. Thank you, thank you. A nice town. Yeah. So, are you from here? I'm from Johnstown. Yeah, okay. I did. I have lived in Pittsburgh for a while. All right. Are you guys trying to warm up? So. What's that? Okay, I guess it's. Well, I guess Garcia. someone was a no show. We got a couple of no shows, so we've sort of uh, co opted the rest of the space a little bit. Okay, well, this will be on YouTube. Uh, I guess my website, Allegheny Independent Media. Allegheny Independent Media, great. All right. Okay. Thanks, Paul. Nice to see you. You're welcome. All right, well, I guess, I guess she's talking to a customer. Well, okay. Danielle. Yes, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. So your so your book 
My sure. book, my very first book, is a suspense book, and I'm Danielle. Okay. So it's so much fun. Oh, um, that's I see. That's an image you like of a pregnancy test. Yeah. So my own idea. With a knife coming out of it. Yeah. So positive pregnancy test, fatal conception, playing on death and life. Um, okay. It was so this, much fun to make. Does so. it deal with like the issue of abortion or? This is the ultimate frenemy book. Frenemy book. Okay. So two best friends find out they're pregnant at the same time. Yeah. So exciting, right? To go along mm -hmm. with that with your best friend. Yeah. But one of them loses their child. Oh, okay. And pretends to still be pregnant so mm -hmm. she can kill her friend and steal the baby. Oh, oh, okay. So, a lot of fun. Um, I wrote it in alternating point of views. So you're kind of going along. So, so you're not sure. Yeah. So okay. you're kind of like, you know what's going to happen and you're kind of really like, oh girl, look behind you, okay. she's coming for you. Reminds so. me of a little bit of the book, My Brilliant Friend. I, I don't know. heard of that one. Actually, it sort of has a similar plot line in the fourth novel. They don't kill each other, but, <laughs> but you know, about, about female friendships and their complexities. So. Yeah. Well, okay, well. All right, just letting you know. And you, are you from around here? Um, out by Indiana area. Okay. So not that far. All right. So about half an hour drive to get here. So okay. Not bad. I remember I grew up next to a Fred Lydic in Johnstown. Okay. No relation. Okay. I don't. Know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, best of luck to you today. Yeah, and you too. I'm I'm over in uh, Tent K. My book is Johnstown by the numbers. So. Okay. Thank okay. you. All right, you're over here at Tent D. Oh, hello. Hello, I'm Paul Ricci. I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. Oh, okay. And I'm, um, you know, just give, trying to give each of the authors a chance to speak about their books. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yes, this will be on YouTube. Great. Uh, my fiction books uh, start with A Hat for Two Heads, which yep. is a... Uh, based on a character who walks into her mansion in New Orleans to find mm -hmm. him being robbed and yep. she decides to follow the thief into the night and the story starts from there. So it's a bit of Alice in Wonderland whimsy mixed with uh, Robin Hood. There's a lot more to the story. Okay. Um, this, The Tallest Timbers was uh, inspired by the time I spent in the Allegheny National Forest as a child and young adult at my parent, my family's camp and just about, okay, you know, cool. making life simple and All right. focusing on what matters. Okay, well, I, yeah, okay, that sounds cool. Are you from around here? Yeah, I live in Ligonier. Okay, well, that's cool. From, uh, so I guess, yes, I guess you've been to sec your years. They're on sale at Second Chapter. So this series the Second Chapter Bookstore. She does have a couple of copies, yes. Okay. My book is there too. So. Well, my book is about Johnstown by the numbers. I'm trying to explain Johnstown by the numbers. Interesting. I'll have to look for that. Sounds like a good read. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just making the rounds and give, trying to give all the authors a chance to speak. Well, I appreciate that. You have my card, so keep yes. in touch. We'll it'll, it'll, it. it'll be on YouTube. And so. Sounds okay. great. Thanks, Paul. You're have welcome. Yeah, he's got a leash walked around him. He keeps biting him. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are Liz you? Liz Milleron. Milliron, yes. yes. Milliron, sorry. Yes. No, that's okay. Okay. I'm okay. I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. Alrighty. So I'm trying to giving all the authors a chance to speak about their books. Oh, okay. Um, well, I write murder mysteries. I have two okay. different series. I have this series, The Homefront Mysteries, which is set in Buffalo during World War II. Okay. Um, where the, young, the protagonist is a young woman, think Rosie the Riveter turns Sam Spade. Mm -hmm. um, she starts this book. She's just, she's working at the Bell Aircraft facility making P-39s. Um, by the latest book, uh, she is actually working as a full-time private investigator, building her own this is uh, outside, uh, uh, you mean uh, after World War II? No, during World War II. This book takes place okay. in World... I'm in 1943 right now. All right. So um, kind of like Mickey Spillane. Yeah, without without so much the swearing and the alcohol, yeah. Uh, <laughs> she, she stays away from that. Okay. Um, and then I have another series. This is the Laurel Highlands Mysteries. This is a mm -hmm. contemporary police procedural yeah. that is set in the Laurel Highlands. 
uh, where the protagonists are a Pennsylvania State Trooper and a defense attorney. All right. Uh, I have five books in this series. This is the sixth one. This comes out this coming Tuesday. All right. So, so where where are you, are you from around here? Um, no, I am originally from Buffalo, New York. Okay, but um, and I moved down to Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh area in the mid '90s. I got married. So okay. I moved down here. Okay. Well, that's cool. Okay. So yeah, I'm just making the rounds and uh, well, welcome to the area. Thank you. All right, and well, best of luck. Thank you. Okay, I know Annette just Shofi, she looks a little busy right now. But okay, I have met her before. She writes. She also writes a lot of. This is 16 feet of dead bodies. This is. Okay. <laughs> I love how you say that. Yeah. Okay. A lot of crime fiction. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll come back later. Okay. I'll be here all day. Okay. Yeah, it was great talking to you. Oh, yeah. I, I have some yes, sense. Thank you. It was really interesting talking to you. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Hi. All right. Well, okay. So I'm Paul Ritchie. I'm covering this for my website. And um, I'm uh, yeah, trying to give all, give all the other authors a chance to speak. All right. Well, my name is Joshua Bellin. This is my, these are my wares. This is uh, a time travel murder mystery set in the city of Pittsburgh. Just okay. came out. The title is Myriad. Mm -hmm. uh, I write fantasy and sci-fi. This is a YA post-apocalyptic novel set in a future Earth where there are uh, desert conditions and body snatching monsters. And this one, Ecosystem, is also a future Earth post-apocalyptic where the physical world has mm -hmm. turned against humanity. All of nature okay. is fighting against people. That's, so that's cool. What I do. Yeah. All right, and you, you're you're from here. I'm from Pittsburgh. Okay. Yeah. Well, welcome. And, and uh, all right. And uh, well, okay. Well, maybe I guess I'll interview Annette later. She's busy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's got some customers. Okay, but yes. So far, are you local or are you from? Yes, here? I'm from Johnstown. Oh, okay. Yes. I have lived in Pittsburgh, and I do have my my book about Johnstown by the numbers. So. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, my wife and I were in Johnstown last year. We had, we had never gone to sort of look at the mm -hmm. history, and we went to the museum. And yeah, we well, visited the area where the you know the club had been. You know where the yeah, oh yeah, the retaining part, the mm -hmm. I guess the, the lake. Yeah, 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 that was a terrible time. It really was. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know. I knew the sort of what I thought were the mm -hmm. basics, but I didn't really yeah. know. Any I mean, of only 9/11 was a worse man-made disaster, yeah, and yeah, I know, yeah, and. Uh, Oh, yeah. yes, and uh, yeah, so it's been largely forgotten outside of this area. So, no, it's a really certainly it would make it would make a great movie with uh, Leo DiCaprio yeah. as Andrew yeah. Carnegie. Yeah, well, he's doing. He just did that. Uh, he Osage just did the Murders, of the Flower Moon movie. Yeah. So he's that's that's historical, mm -hmm. you know, histor uh, uh, historical okay. narrative. So yeah. All right. Well, well, thank you. I'm making around, so. Okay, well, enjoy and good luck today. Thanks. Thanks. Sure. Same to you. Hello. Hi, I'm Paul Ritchie. I'm covering this for my website. And I'm giving all the authors a chance to speak okay. about their books. So these are VIC Vic Lenoski. Yes. Vic Lenoski is a Pittsburgh police detective. And this is a series of books. So this is the, uh, the one that just came out this month, is the fifth in the series. Mm -hmm. um, the first three were written as a trilogy. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we then started and went a couple, uh, I've got so, three so more guess, that are uh, on the way. So, so I guess it would be like a cestilogy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what mm -hmm. happened is Vic starts out as a uh, uh, Pittsburgh Bureau of Police detective mm -hmm. investigating murders. And there's yeah. an overarching uh, question in all of the first three about what yeah. happened to his teenage daughter. Um, at the end of the third book, he's uh, out of a job, but he's brought back by the district attorney working for the Allegheny County Police. Okay. So, um, and that's, that's, so the next, these is three it, books, is it set in, one next year. Is this set in, like in modern times? Yes. Or, yeah, you know, when the mills, after the mills closed and all that? Right, it's after the mills closed, and actually that was when he became a police officer because he decided in the 80s as the mills were closing and everybody, all his friends were leaving, 
town. Mm -hmm. He thought he should stay behind and uh, take care of the people who had stayed behind. So that okay. was how he ended up working in the police department. That's cool. Okay, well, I'm making the rounds, and, uh, right. and you're, you're from around here? Yeah, I'm from Pittsburgh. Okay, so. all right. Well, best of luck to you. Thanks. Thank you. Hello. Hey, yes, so you're Corey McCullough? Yeah, that's me, Paul. Yes. Nice to meet you. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm covering this for my website. I'm trying to give all the authors a chance to speak. Very cool, yeah. What kind of stuff do you write? I, well, I wrote my book about Johnstown, PA, by the numbers. I write nonfiction. Nice. So, yeah, it tries to tell the story of Johnstown with numbers. Very cool. So, so where, where are you located? Uh, Venango County, Oil City, okay. Franklin area. Okay. Uh, but that's... Uh, no relation to David McCullough? No. <laughs> A lot of people ask that. No, not yes. that I'm aware of, but okay. I know he wrote about the Johnstown flood, yes. right? Yeah, 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 back, well, by, way back. Yeah, I guess, well, maybe if you go back to the old country, maybe. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, well, I, I wrote about the local area too. This one's okay. a historical fiction novel. It's a family saga that takes place in a fictional version of Oil City, where I'm from. Okay. So uh, it was Oil City up until the very final draft, and then I changed mm -hmm. all of the names of everything to yeah. you know, protect the innocent and, and the guilty mm -hmm. too. Uh, but it's uh, multiple generations of the same family living mm -hmm. in this small town, and uh, it kind of jumps back and forth in perspective between. You know, a guy who's living in the modern day and he sees the way the town is now and then jumps back to his grandfather as a 10 year old in the 1930s outside this local theater trying to sneak in and see a jazz musician on stage. Okay. And so as the shifting perspectives jump back and forth you get their three stories that tie together at the end but you also kind of get the story of the town and mm -hmm. how it goes from this thriving industrial place with yep. you know, the oil industry and to kind of more of a uh, depressed sort of place at the end. So. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. Well, this sounds interesting. And that you're. So you said you're from there. So. Yeah. All right. Well, best of luck to you. Thank and, you very uh, much. All right. Well, I'm making the rounds. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day and good luck with sales. Thank you. Hello. So I guess Watershed Journal Literary Group. Okay, well, I guess she's probably speaking. I guess I'll come back later. Oh, she's coming back right now, actually. Oh, she is? Okay. Hello. <coughs> okay, hello, I'm Paul Ricci. I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm Hannah. Okay, and uh, Hannah Ullman Kennedy. Okay, and you're with the Watershed Group? Yeah, um, so this is my novel. Um, it was published by the Watershed Journal in 2021, mm -hmm. and it actually received Book of the Year Award at the Writers' Conference of Northern Appalachia this year. Cool. So, yeah, it's set in a fictional version of the oil region mm -hmm. up in um, northern Pennsylvania. Yeah. County. So rural PA, small town. Um, a woman grows up in a small town, moves away, and then has to come back and deal with all the unfinished business she left behind. Okay. All right. Well, sounds interesting. You're from there originally? I'm from Oil City originally. Actually, we're from the same town. Oh, okay. Um, I live in Pittsburgh now, so I'm always going around back okay. in some ways mirroring the character of those. Right. Not quite. But... Sounds good. Okay. Well, thank you, and uh, have a nice day. Uh, thanks. You too. Jake was a fire company's mascot. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he had a funny brain. Hello, John. He hey, how are you? Yes, I still have a copy of your book. Yes, okay. You so have, You have a copy of it? I do, yes. We got met down at yeah, the well, gallery. Yeah, yes. yes. Yeah. So, okay, so you're here. Yep. So you have, you have a couple books now. You we have actually have Miracle. Uh, one. This is the original, and this is, this is the movie script. Mm -hmm. I did the 80s. Yeah. And it's actually a library book that I'm present in our library, but that, but that led to this. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Different things, so. All right. Well, so I'm making. How you been doing with your book? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I'm selling steady. So. Yeah. Hey, I bought one from you. You bought one from me. That was a good deal. Yep, <laughs> it was. So. Fantastic. Okay. Cool. All right. And where well, are you? Are you over? I'm over at 10K. 10K. Okay. So I'm. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of making making around, so. Fantastic. Nice okay. seeing you again, sir. Nice seeing you too. 
Okay, and you're Sally Shirley Stuby. Okay, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. This will be on, I will put this on YouTube. So I'm giving you an opportunity to talk about you write children's books. I write children's books. This is my first one. Come inside, little donkey. Yeehaw, yep. <coughs> we had miniature donkeys. Mm -hmm. Two boys that I figured they would like to bring it inside yep. like a dog. Mm -hmm. So this was the first one. This is a friend that lets be friends with a donkey. Mm -hmm. And he was a hamster. Turned out to be friends in the end. Okay. And this is uh, Jake, the fire company's mascot. Okay. He had a flaw in his bray. Mm -hmm. And when he <laughs> whistled, or when he said his bray, it sounded like a fire engine. Oh, so they made him, okay, so they made him the... Mascot. Okay, that's so, cool. So that's, this, and this is a, just a little poem that was Happy Boots. Okay. The kid wore boots everywhere, and so he went down. All right. All right, well, thank you. I'm just making a round, so... All right, well, have a nice day. Okay. All right, so he's over here at Tent B. Hello. I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. All right. So I'm giving the authors a chance to talk about their books. So this is yours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, actually, I'm a former journalist and uh, crime journalist. So oh, okay. I love what you're doing. Yep. Uh, so, so yes, I'm. Yeah, I'm just giving. So I thought I'd profile the local author, the literary scene. Nice. So, Great. Yeah, I mean, well, these, most, most these people... are all books in a series. This is book one, two, and three, and they're mystery suspense. Okay. They, uh, have a, a the journalist. Uh, the protagonist is a journalist who got pregnant mm -hmm. at 15 and. Now her daughter's 16 years old, and um, she's covering the murder of her daughter, daughter's father, Ooh. whom she hasn't seen since, um, okay. since her, her daughter was born, or and, since uh, before her daughter was born. Okay. And, and this uh, one's a standalone thriller. So where, where did you work as a journalist? I worked at the Post Standard up in Syracuse, New York. Okay. Yeah, for 11 years. Are, are you from around here? I am north of here, right in the, right on the New York border in okay. uh, Austinburg, PA. It's a tiny hamlet. Middle of nowhere. <laughs> All right, that's cool. So, okay, well, well, I'm glad you're, well, glad you're able able to sell your wares. And... Yeah, it's a lot of fun. All right, and uh, good luck to you today. Thank you. Thanks so, very much. Yes, I'm making the rounds. So, so it's like, okay. Okay. have fun. Sure. Thank you. Sell lots too. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hello. Hello, Paul Ricky. <laughs> nice to meet you, <laughs> Ruth Oaks Webster. Ruth Webster yeah. Okay, so this is these are your books. Or are yes. they more like supernatural? Oh or? no 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 no. These are uh, historical novels from the Civil War era, based on my actual ancestors. A tremendous okay. amount of research. Yeah. So. Um, so. You learn a lot. I'll bet. And I was just so. up there reading. Okay, so so you ever get asked like who wins the Civil War? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know I am. Um, a lot of times I'm at places where um, like Civil War events, you know, mm -hmm. um, so if anything I'm going to be quizzed on how accurate I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> More than. And uh, you're, so you're, you're from, are you from around here? No, I was born and raised in Kentucky. Okay. All my characters are Kentucky or Southern Ohio. And mm -hmm. that's their war experience. That yeah. it's called the Western Theater. It's, well, I once gave a talk, um, Carnegie, mm -hmm. uh, for Carnegie, and this fellow said to me, he says, "I have been mm -hmm. going to Gettysburg for 50 years. I never heard of any of this stuff, and I love it." Mm -hmm. and, and that's the problem. People yeah, ever get hyper? They get hyper focused on Gettysburg. Yes, and it's you know, and there was a lot. There was. It was a big war and it encompassed many states. Yes, yes, it was, well, certainly. And I always say, very ugly. It doesn't matter how many people were killed. If you were killed in a skirmish, you're just as dead as somebody that. At Gettysburg. Fell at Gettysburg. Okay. And I think I have a lot of drama in my book. All right, just well. Enough. Okay, well, thank you and good luck today. And hello, I'm. Um, 
Okay, so I'm making the rounds here. I guess you overheard me. Yeah. So, Deborah Sanchez. So, I guess you have some novels in Spanish? Uh, well, I've translated all of these books. Mm -hmm. There's children's picture books. This is a young adult series. These are Native American legends. Mm -hmm. These are ones that I've written. Yeah. Um, also, bilingual picture books. Uh, a play in English and Spanish, mm -hmm. a collection of my poetry that has been published uh, in literary journals and mm -hmm. contests. And, and okay. These books are for write, writerly mm -hmm. advice. This yeah. is a collection of happy events mm -hmm. uh, from a wide variety of people. Okay. And right. it's my birthday, so right. if people say happy birthday, they can have a treat. Happy, yeah. well, <laughs> yes, happy birthday and congratulations. So you 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 where where do you live? I currently live in New Wilmington. Wilmington. New Wilmington. It's about halfway between Pittsburgh and Erie. Oh, okay. And uh, are you from are you from around here? Or? Um, I moved around a lot when I was okay. growing up and continue to do so. Uh, yes. Okay. No problem. But mostly in this region. Oh, I'm sure it gives you a rich experience to draw on for yes. your books. Okay, well, best of luck to you. Thank you. Yeah, my card. Yeah, I can get my email Okay. Hello. Sorry, I guess you have a customer. Well, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. You're, how do you say, Nicole Fratrich? Yes. Okay. How do you say? Fratrick. Fratrick. Okay. So you write. What? So what do you write? Um, a little bit of everything. This is my um, debut novel. It's historical fiction with a um, little bit of romance and like Christian fiction in the background. Okay. Um, I also do poetry. I've had a few short stories published. Mm -hmm. Mystery, gothic. It's a Stephen King. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. So. All right, and uh, you were, you right to, were you featured in Johnstown Magazine? Yes, the Christmas. Oh, you, okay. Are you, where, are you from there? Yes, well, I'm from a little town called Seward, which is right, right by Johnstown. Where? Seward. Seward, oh, okay. Yes, I know it well. Yes, I live in Johnstown, too. So, Well, best of luck to you, and uh, this will be on YouTube. And, okay. It's um, women's fiction, because okay. it's a lot of dynamics between the family members, or secondary characters, friendships. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I've been covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. And, yes, I, you know, I'm just giving you an opportunity to talk about your Trish Riddinger McKee. Trish Riddinger McKee. Riddinger, okay. <laughs> And uh, so you're right. You say I overheard you saying you write about uh, women's issues or it's, women. Um, it's like women's fiction. It's um, family issues, family dynamics, friendships, okay. little romance in each book. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. And uh, well, I'm right across at that yellow, the yellow, the yellow table. Oh, okay. So. Okay. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. And are you from around here? I'm um, Roaring Spring. So, yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. Away. Not bad. Well, no. well, well. Good luck to you. Thank you so much. You too. Sure. Mm -hmm. Bye. Right. So yes. Hey, Hillary. This is Hillary Hawk. She's okay. She's written lots of well books set in Italy. Yes, that's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, and you you lived there for a while. For well, you lived there for several years. I lived there for twelve years. Yes, yeah, near Milan. Okay, and uh, okay, and so originally you're from London. Yeah, originally from London. So growing up in London, and then I moved to Italy, and then I moved to America. So I know a lot about what it's like to move from one country to another. Mm -hmm. So and learn like and learn new up, customs. Yeah, it always end up in my stories. So mm -hmm. much as a song that starts in Italy and comes to the US, and the things we never have starts in London and goes yeah. to Italy. So, mm -hmm. so could you write what you know, right? Yes, certainly.
definitely. So, would you could you ever see yourself writing on writing about uh, like this area? Well, this book, yes, yeah, this book uh, Ashes is uh, the song. Ashes to Song. It's inspired by a true story. So, it starts off in Piemonte, um, and then they land in Indiana County, mm -hmm. and then they actually move to Culver. Oh, and okay. And there's a scene right here in Evansburg at the uh, courthouse when somebody gets arrested. Oh, yeah, so. interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot about this area, and a lot of people have told me. You know, older people especially, oh, I remember those days, and mm -hmm. it really captures, you know, yep. that, that period. Okay. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank and, you so much. Uh, and to you, Paul. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, I'm right over there on that oh, table. Okay. Yeah, the yellow table. So. Okay. So, so yes, I'm making the rounds, and this will be on YouTube. And so, grazie. Okay. Thank you. Hello, James, Mr. Lewis. Yes. So I'm, uh, okay, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. Okay. So I'm, yeah, I'm just making the rounds, giving all the authors a chance to speak. All right. So, and what type of writing do you do? I write novels, and here we have two Pittsburgh-based police procedurals. This is a family drama based on a DNA discovery. Mm -hmm. And this is a World War II novel set in Canada, which was okay. inspired by a history of the March to D-Day by this gentleman, mm -hmm. Phil Paget, called Advocating Overlord. Okay, well that's cool. So we've known each other for 50 some odd years. Okay. But well, well, I guess I'll make my rounds over here then. But I've never been to Abruzzi. Okay. <laughs> it's a it's a nice region of Italy. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Hello. So this is your advocating yes. overlord. So this is about D-Day. Well, it's about the year before D-Day and getting approval to follow that strategy. So is this very uh, difficult to do? So no, is, would you call this non-fiction? Oh yes. yes. Okay. Okay. So you spent a lot of time at the archives oh, and yes. pouring over From documents. Lot of places. So, what, anything surprise you We're studying this topic? Well, I, I got a question I couldn't answer. Mm -hmm. There was uh, the intriguing possibility that the Germans tried to assassinate Roosevelt yeah. while he was in Canada, which okay. had never been reported. Ah. I found some, big, some anomalies in the record. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I ended up by uh, giving the question to Jim, and he put it in the novel. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. And are you? So, are you from around here? I'm from Kensington, Maryland. Okay. And so, well, that's not too far from the ar archives. No, no, it's a 15 minute drive. Okay. And uh, well, all right. Well, best of luck to you. So, that's a map of Omaha Beach. Yes, this is the west end of Omaha Beach, okay. and the National Guard Division, which included units mm -hmm. from Pennsylvania, landed okay. here on D-Day. Your right. mayor. So I guess, uh, well, I guess, so I guess if they hadn't invaded, if they had waited any longer to evade, they might, Germany might have gotten the atomic bomb. Would you say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. And uh, I'm just, I'm just making the rounds. So. You got to show that to Judy. She's a good friend of mine. Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm uh, uh -huh. with the theater, yeah. Okay, I'm uh, covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. So, oh, yeah. so you do illustration and design? I uh, yeah, I guess that's my my thing. So um, this is a book that I authored and illustrated. Uh, these books are all books that I've illustrated by someone else's written. Okay, so I'll let you cover a little little bit of everything. Okay, I'm uh. All right. Yes, I'm. This will be on YouTube. So, well, good luck to you. All right. See, I lived in Asia. Thank you. And I was like, this was like a thing there. So, Brian Dom, a common name around here. Yeah, we have the last name is kind of hard to forget. So yeah, remember that. Well, I have to introduce you to Elizabeth Smart. Yeah, there you go. Is that is that a real person then? Yeah, she she was a kidnapping victim in Utah. 
now. So yeah, I guess that would be the most famous smart person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm making the rounds. Oh, I've never gotten that. See, the tapioca is the actual boba. That's what right. Is. But my daughter came home with this, with these beads. Hello, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm, I'm covering this for my website, yeah. Alleg Allegheny Independent Media. I'm giving other, I'm giving the other authors a chance to talk about their work. I am. So you're a children's oh, sure. author? No, not at all. I actually, they're adult novels, but they're fully illustrated. Okay. So they're high fantasy. Um, the first one was actually a semi-finalist in the North Street Book Awards uh, earlier this year. Um, they're fully illustrated. Each book has over 200 illustrations, but they are actually adult fantasy novels. It's a, it will be a full trilogy when it's all said and done. I'm currently in the process of illustrating the third book right now. All right. Well, best best of luck to you. Yeah, thank are you, you. Are you from around here? Yes, I'm from Altoona. All right. Well, welcome to Evansburg, and uh, well, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So yes, this will be on YouTube. Okay. This, hello. I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. This is Christine Fasanic and Damian Dressick. Yes. So yes. So we're here today in Evansburg, Pennsylvania, at the Festival of Bo the Allegheny Festival of, of Books. Yep. The Festival of Books in the, in Alleghenies. the Alleghenies. Oh, yes. I, well, that's yes. the full complete name. See, it says it on my okay. name tag. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so these and we're are selling our members' books. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, a bunch of regional writers. We've yes, got everything yes. from poetry, creative nonfiction. Yep, well, fiction, Forty fiction. Patch Town. Yes, yeah. that's a book about the strike in Winber. It is. It, this is the uh, 100th anniversary of the 1922/23 coal strike. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I cover I covered that for my website and uh, so and uh, so and Christina, you write mostly. Those two books are my my most recent memoirs. Optimistic Food Addict. Yep, and Two Week Wait is my other memoir, and um, I'm working on historical fiction right now. Okay, about what? About um, women in the glass industry oh, uh, wow. between the end of uh, World War II and the early 1950s. Okay, sounds interesting. So yes. yeah, Damien, you're from Winber. Originally, yes. And you're from? Wheeling, West Virginia. Okay. Well, welcome. And, uh, well, I'm happy to put this on YouTube. All right. Super yes, cool. and uh, we also publish a journal, Appalachian Lit. Mm -hmm. And um, every um, Thursday night at 8 p.m., we have our show, Wanna Live. And we feature okay. writers from throughout northern Appalachia and beyond. Sounds good. All right. Well, best of luck to you. And, uh, well, we'll keep in touch. All right. All good right. to see you. Okay. So these are, this is like the control center. This is like center for children. Thank you. Thank you. I guess they're doing, uh, this is where they come to register. Yes, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. This is children's center and okay, they do have, okay. Hello. Hi, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. And uh, so you're with the uh, Writers Conference of Northern Appalachia? And Sunbury Press. Okay, you're with both. Okay, and so the these. Northern Appalachia Review. <laughs> okay, well, so, yes. certainly that's a lot here. So. The, I wear a lot of hats. <laughs> okay, um, I do too. Yeah. Right, I'm from. Uh, <coughs> So I guess these are some of the works you you. Yes, we're you bringing sell. back some of the classic authors of the region. Mm -hmm. So um, her, Henry Shoemaker and Herbert Stover, and then okay. we have a collection of short stories that we found posthumously. Mm -hmm. oh, by Stover, okay. Yes, and I brought those out, and then Sunbury has a lot of their titles here. Okay. Well, yes. So. Well, I've written. All right. Well, and uh, I guess though the conference will be at St. Francis this year. Yes. If you want a flyer, they're there. Okay. And, and the little flyer is for our uh, mini conference in two weeks. So. Oh, you have a mini conference? Where yes. At, at... That's in Cook Forest. That's this one. Oh, okay. Um, Riders in the woods. Yep. It says the registration period is passed. Okay. But we have a couple slots open, so if anybody well, signs up today or early okay. next week, well, we'll I'll try them. to I'll try to make it for for the conference. That'll be great. You know, I may try to present. Yeah. 
Oh, so. that'll be great. The invitation to present will be coming out this week. I think okay. on the website, it's all online and easy to do. So. You know, I mean, you so saw like, uh, okay, like I could present my book and talk about like, my, my book is about Johnstown, PA by the numbers. Great. So that great. was a self-publish. I mean, I might be interested in doing a sequel to it. Yeah. So. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. Or, or possibly maybe one about the coronavirus pandemic. It's more like an academic book, but. Yes. Okay. Well, and your name tag is flipped around. You oops, are Paul Ricci. Hi, Paul. Yes, I'm over at 10K. You're welcome okay. to stop by and say hello. Do you have cards over there? I do. Yes. All right. That way I'll know your website and everything. Okay. So, all right. I'm going to make some more rounds. Okay. All right. Please see ya. filter out all the goofy faces I make. <laughs> uh, Okay, covering this for hello. I'm Paul Ritchie covering this for my website, okay. Allegheny Independent Media, and I, uh, you know, I'm giving all the I'm making the rounds, giving the authors a chance to speak. So I think we met before, maybe you once. You look familiar. Yes, Were you at, up at signings yeah. up at the mall. Yes. Okay. Okay. I so thought yes. So. so yes, we were. Yes, so you're a romance author. Yes, I, I featured you in my book. Uh, about now Johnstown, I really PA by you. the numbers. Yes, yes, now I really remember you. So, okay. Yep. I'm not sure if I added anything since I was up there or not. I had my contemporary, but I might have added one of my uh, paranormal. I don't think I had okay. that last one when we were so, up So, you're in, the, so you're in paranormal. Okay. I have paranormal with my steamy romance as well. Yep. Okay, I guess maybe you could combine the two, kind of like Twilight. Exactly. <laughs> well, for adults, Twilight for adults. Uh, yeah. Has that steamy element. But yeah. okay. And actually, they're not vampire books. They're uh, witches and demons. Okay. So the Twilight well, was cool. vampires. Well, so. and werewolves too. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you're from Johns? Are yes. you from? You're I from? am from Johnstown. Yes. I'm okay. All right. Well, best of luck to yes, you. Thank you. I'm just making the rounds and a yeah, nice day out today. It is so. it's beautiful. A little chilly. I'm a little chilly. <laughs> but oh better well. than it being really hot. Yes. Me too, I say. <laughs> All right, well, good yeah, luck. Watch that again. Yeah, uh, that's thank you. Scary hole right there. Hello. Hi. I'm Paul Ricci. I'm with Allegheny Independent Media. I'm covering this for my website. Okay. So, so you, I take it, I take it your family's from Ukraine? Yes, I do have. Still family Re in relatives. West, Western Ukraine. I've been over there six times. Oh yeah. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure it's beautiful. And yeah, it, it was. <laughs> well, well, places. it'll be beautiful again someday. Yeah. Sorry, sorry about all that's happening. So you write science fiction? Yes, I do. Young adult science fiction. Okay. And it's, uh, so it takes place in Western Pennsylvania. I'm originally from Bakerton. Bakerton. Okay, that's near Spangler. Yeah. Well, I, I still call it Spangler. It's Spangler. northern Cambria Spangler now. Spangler and Barnesburg. <laughs> yep. Okay, well, good luck to you, and, well, so, well, best, best of luck to you. Thank you. Okay, and I hope things get better in Ukraine. I hope so, too. I think I was pretty cool. So it'll come back. Yeah, but if she, if she keeps looking, she's, she's going to do well. So, as a, as a Hello, I'm Paul Ricci. I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. And I'm, uh, well, giving all the authors, making the rounds, giving the authors a chance to speak. Let you speak. Okay. I see. I can't write. Well, okay. Enjoy the reads. Thank you. So here, you're... So, so what type of books do you write? I write crime, uh, and I uh, my my uh, crime novels would have a, a thread of political mm -hmm. uh, uh, points in them. Uh, yeah. Something political. Mm -hmm. It is all uh, written in contemporary time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and I uh, tend to use uh, real cities, real uh, names out there, except for the characters. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, yeah, just contemporary uh, uh, crime is uh, the way I would uh, uh, coach it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. And uh, are you from around here? Uh, Pittsburgh. I live in Pittsburgh. Okay. Well, welcome to the area. Yeah, born and raised well, in Wimber, so we well, right over the mountain, as they say. Okay. Well, there's another Wimber native over there, Michael uh, Damien Dressick, over at the Ryder Wana. 
Writers Association of Northern Appalachia. Yeah, okay, good. I'll come so, visit with him. Okay. Dress I'm familiar with that name. I don't know that I would know him, but I know. He wrote a book about the steel strike, uh, yeah, 40 so, Patch Town. That's right. I saw that. So, yep. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Michael. Thank you. I'm Paul. Well, I don't know if you remember me, Paul Ricci. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. Very cool. So, yes, I'm. Uh, you have a yeah. book up here? I do. My book about Johnstown by the numbers, the same one. So, so yeah, this is a book. So, Michael Keel's books challenge the moment. So, this is about your life story. And yep, that's right. Perspective on life Thank before, you. during, and after. It's like the book. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I remember the story. You were you were shot, and yep. that's how you ended up in the wheelchair. Yep. Software bedside. Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, and uh, well, I'm sure certainly you re you recovered and yep. take, take, made a lemon made lemonade out of lemon. Yep. Life went on. Huh? Life went on. Yes, and you're from Johnstown and Portage. Portage. Close. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, all right. Well, thank you. I'm just making the rounds. And Thanks for stopping by. This will be on YouTube and my website. Thank you. Yes. Is something wrong? We have an opening at 11. Would you like to speak? Okay. Sure. All okay. right. I'll have to put something together, but Real, yeah. Just I'll just read from the book. Okay, great. All right, this is Thank Jennifer you. Diamond. Hello. She's another writer. I'm, I'm covering this for my great. I'm covering this for my website, Thanks Allegheny Independent here. Media. All right. Thanks for being flexible. Okay, I have to run. You're welcome. I'll be back. Okay. okay. Well, I'm headed over to the next tent. I think this will probably be the last one. Hello. I'm Paul Ricci. Uh, is your name Stephen Sherrill? Yep. Hey, Paul. I'm uh, covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. Excellent. So what can I tell you? you? Okay. And you're, what type of books do you write? Well, I am primarily a novelist. That's where I've made my footprint. But the newest thing uh, is, it's a book about a motorcycle ride that became a memoir of a literary life. Okay. So it's based on uh, Greek mythology? Well, the it's Minotaur. roots are in Greek mythology. This character that I created 20-some years ago made my life possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and I found him again on the motorcycle ride. Okay. So, so it's, it's a literal Minotaur, but it's not a fantasy book. I mean, neither okay. of these are fantasies. He is a, a chef in the steakhouse here and a Civil War reenactor there. Okay. Complete with horns and the head of a bull. I see. And the kind of rem this one kind of reminds me of Zen and the mo art of motorcycle there's maintenance. Some, there's some similarity. There's some similarity, okay. but much more banjo in this one. I see. And uh, are you from around here? I live in State College. I've been teaching for the Altoona campus for 23 years. Okay. And originally? Originally from the south, from North okay. Carolina. All right. Well, welcome to the area. Thank you. I mean, I think of Pennsylvania as home now. It's been a long time. And yeah, in like some it. in some ways, it's not that different. Exactly. It's so the other end of Appalachia. Maybe just a little cooler. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, thank, thank you. you. I'm making the rounds. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi there. You're with Ta Tabasam Shah. Correct. Okay. And let's see. You write poems. Yes, I'm a poet. Okay. It's funny to say that sometimes. <laughs> and and you're, you're affiliated with Watershed Journal and Watershed Books? Exactly. Um, they are a literary group based in Brookville, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I met them at, right. their, at their book festival. Right. Okay. So, okay. They published my debut collection um, of poetry here, Red and Crescent Moons. They chose it for publication at the end of last year. Okay, I guess your family is originally from where? Um, I'm first generation um, Pakistani migrant, so my parents okay. um, migrated in the 60s. I was right. born here. Okay. But, well, um, I'm sure that that influenced some of your work. Of course, of course. Okay. I, I think I've lived in the Southern Appalachians, and now I live in the Northern Appalachians. Mm -hmm. and so I'm 
my poetry is very much about the landscape, rooted yeah. in the landscape, but, mm -hmm. you know, touched with the spice of what it's like to be a Pakistani American Muslim woman okay. and growing All up right. like and, that. And where do you live now? I'm in Clarion. Okay. Do you teach there? Or? No, I'm a community activist, so okay. I have my hands in a lot of community organizations. Mm -hmm. um, I do too. And then um, I'm also a full-time writer too now. Okay, well, I mean, my website, Allegheny Independent Media, is a non-fluff website. And awesome. I am looking for, well, we are looking for contributors. So let's see. I can take your your card. Which one? This is my business card here, mm -hmm. and okay. I am also affiliated with a group called Poets Against Racism and Hate. We're a loose collective of poets who write social justice poetry. All right. Well. And we're based in Ohio and Western Pennsylvania, but we're okay. trying to branch out. Well, they are welcome. I, I actually can I actually can pay fifty dollars per article. Awesome, awesome. So. I'll let I'll let our organizers know. This might be a great connection for us to kind. Get, okay. get our voices out. Sounds good. So well, if you look up out. Allegheny Independent Media, okay. you'll find us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hello. I'm Paul Ricci. I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. Oh, okay. And yes, I am looking. Where are. Okay, well, now I'm just giving all the authors a chance to speak about their work. Okay. So, so you're Judy, Ju, uh, Ju, I'm Kimberly, Kimberly Kurth Gray. Kimberly Kurth Gray. Okay, from and you're, you're and is that where I, you live? Yes, I live in Baltimore, from Baltimore, and uh, where to carry you. And okay. I write women's fiction and mystery. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm kind of stuck in the mystery thing because my dad was a homicide detective, and okay. my mom grew up in a graveyard. So make, death make, is, makes I'm me death. makes me think about the TV show Homicide. Yes. yes. Okay. So, All right. That's what the okay. All right. Well, I'm making the rounds. I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I do love the crab down there. So. Oh, the best. <laughs> Okay, well, good luck to you. Thank you. Okay. How are you doing, Kim? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I did. We I got to no, they wanted to see how at 2 30. I was back at Hammer Ford. I haven't seen it. You think what they're going to put up from on the street? Oh, I'll go on the street. So, okay, so sorry. I'm, I'm covering this for my website, Allegheny Independent yeah. Media. No, I'm off the Tomorrow. And uh, your yeah, campfire stories. Thank you very much. So you're Terry um, Black. Black. Okay. And, and I write um, kind of campfire stories, short story collections, scary yeah. stories, yeah. poetry, some more scary hardcore stuff, and fairy tales. Okay. And are you from around here? I'm from closer to Pittsburgh. Closer to Pittsburgh. Okay. Well, welcome to Evansburg. Okay. You got some nice. For the kids. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. I have to go speak soon. So. All right. I have to go speak soon. So. Yep. Okay. Hello, Barb. Hey, Paul. How's going? Okay. Just making the rounds and putting this on. Uh, Putting this on my uh, website. Sure. So, okay. <laughs> yes, we met before. Yeah, we met online. Okay, Kimberly McElhatton. Yeah. Okay, yes. So this is some of the staff, the library. So, I guess you're affiliated with Dolly Parton. That's her. Yeah, so there's she a big is. fun right oh we you just are ran out of tables and figured we'd oh. be good friends <laughs> okay so, so doll yeah dolly parton i guess yes. they had the fundraiser for yes. last night sorry yes. sorry i couldn't make it sure <laughs> but okay and uh well this will be on youtube so i have to go speak pretty soon so i have to get ready okay sounds good all right well thank you bye so your name is sorry, your name is tony lavorne yes tony lavorne yes and uh you write about uh, I write about uh, folklores and legends uh, paranormal uh, 
throughout okay. uh, Pennsylvania, the state of Pennsylvania. Okay, and uh, years. and you have a podcast, The Social Voice. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, and well, I'm just interviewing, trying to interview all the authors here. So, okay, I just I saw you came here late, so yep. I thought I should stop by. Oh, I thank you for coming by. I thank you for covering our event. Okay. I hope everybody comes out. Yep. Are you Are you from around here? Uh, I'm actually from uh, Washington County, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. I live down towards McDonald area. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's lots. I guess I see you have one about Eastern Woodland Indians. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I like to write about many of the... Uh, social belief systems and things uh, I mean, kind of really like them. anthropologically yes, exactly. okay i know there's i don't like that 77 part i know there was uh yeah, I just said, I don't like, like you know like in johnstown pa where the inclined plane was <laughs> oh yes yes well, there, that was a uh, indian burial mound right that's correct and, and uh i know they had uh well, that would make a good setting for a supernatural thriller. Absolutely, no. absolutely. Like, Anytime you have a burial ground, so you that's can been, sure that's been, some kind of activity. That's been disturbed, yes. Right, right. Very good. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, Paul. I have a nice day. Hello, I'm here with Bill Arnold, and I guess he's a writer of Miracle at Q Creek Mind. Correct. So, so okay. Are, are you from around here? I'm actually from the actual rescue site. Um, over 20 years ago, when those nine men became trapped in a flooded mm -hmm. coal mine, yeah. they were directly mm -hmm. underneath my farm in Somerset County. Oh wow! Just nine miles away from the Flight 93 mm -hmm. crash site. Yeah. And so the international media again descended on Somerset County, expecting mm -hmm. another tragedy. Yeah. And fortunately, after nearly four days of hard work around the clock. Yeah. All nine of the men were successfully rescued. Okay. Well, that's good. So do you ever have, have any problems with mine subsidence? Or? We do not. Um, fortunately, we've got about 30 feet of Mahoning sandstone, a very dense Above, between, material. Between you between, and the mine. Correct. Okay. So that seems to protect our water supply and our, our buildings. Okay. Well, that's good. And uh, so, all right. Well, I just thought I'd come by and say hi to everybody. So, yeah, I'm in the tent next door. So. Okay. All right. So, well, this will be on YouTube. And great, great. We appreciate that. Thanks so much. All right, and uh, have a good day. You too. I'll see you. Bye. I've been Cox, otherwise known as Jerry Yukovitz. Oh, Handmaid. that's your, okay. And this book, um, you can have a bookmark if you like. It's right. about how my dad grew up uh, near Burgettstown mm -hmm. uh, as a Polish immigrant with um, yeah siblings and uh, mm -hmm. a mother who died by self-inflicted abortion. Oh, uh, yeah. Rough life, but it triumphant. Okay. And that's... Unfortunately, my father um, escaped, became a doctor, and met the sister of her father. Oh, okay. So she's my cousin, Joan. Yes. From the Scottish side of the family. Okay. And I'm a wasp. I'm a white Anglo-Saxon Polish. Uh, or a Polish Presbyterian. Okay, that's cool. I grew up in Steubenville. Okay. And uh, my brother lives in Pittsburgh. He's still here. Mm -hmm. And so. uh, uh, I came to the... Because well, since it happened in the Alleghenies, I thought I should be part of this. Okay. Well, well, sounds good. And, uh, well, I'm just making the rounds right now. I'm Thank covering you. this for my website, Allegheny Independent Media. Wonderful. So this, I can put this on YouTube. So, all right. Well, thank you, and uh, have a nice day. Thanks a lot. Hello, this is uh, Annette Deshofi. She was you were last year's keynote speaker. Two years ago. Two years ago. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay, and she's a local mis mystery writer. I guess Zoe Chambers Zoe is one Chambers of her series. Series. I have twelve uh, books in the series now. Mm -hmm. Zoe is, starts out the series as a paramedic and deputy coroner in rural southwestern Pennsylvania. Okay. Helping and sometimes hindering small town chief of police Pete Adams. Yeah. In solving crimes. Uh, by the later books in the series, Zoe's now full fledged county coroner and she and Peter married. Oh, okay. Um, I also have a new series 
set in uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, featuring mm -hmm. Matthias Honeywell, who's an Erie City Police Detective. And the secondary main character is Emma Anderson, who is a uh, freelance photographer living in a 17-foot camper wow. in Sarah's campground okay. at Presque Isle. So if, they, if you've ever been to Erie, you've yeah. driven right past that campground. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Death by Equine is a standalone, so not part of a series. It's set in the world of thoroughbred horse racing, mm -hmm. uh, where the racetrack veterinarian is yeah. trying to find the truth behind her mentor's tragic death beneath the hoofs of one of his patients. Yeah. Okay, but you still, I see you still have some horse, horse well, themed books. I had, I've had, I had horses for 25 years. Okay. So there are horses in all of my books except this one. Oh, okay. And all there right. may be a horse there at some point, so you never uh, know. Okay, all right, well, all right, I'm, well, I'm covering this for my website, okay. so Allegheny so Independent much. Media. Okay. So yeah, I've tried to made the rounds to all the authors. So I figure I should come and get you. you were busy back then. So yeah, you were. <laughs> I actually got a, I actually got a still photo of you talk, interviewing Liz. So. Oh okay. So yeah, I did. Uh, I did. Put, well, I figure you said you said they're both about dead bodies. So yes, yes. We, we've okay. lost count. We've, we've lost count of dead bodies that we've got here. I guess it's interesting the whole. Like before 50 years ago, I mean, the, the whole profession of paramedic didn't even exist. Right, right. Well, I was an EMT. Oh, you for, were? For a number of years uh, mm -hmm. in my local yeah. ambulance service. So I kind of based, oh, there goes Spider-Man. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I, I don't use real cases, mm -hmm. but the emotions and the reactions and all that okay. come directly from mm -hmm. my history. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Hey, welcome back to our uh, lawn stage. Uh, there's a, a slight change to our hello, young man, again, my friend. The lollipop. The lollipop. Excellent. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, an author. Change in, in uh, events. Uh, Mr. Paul Ritchie is from Ritchie. Excuse me. Is from uh, Johnstown and he's here to talk about some of his work. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody. Yes, I'm Paul Ricci. I'm here from Johnstown. I'm uh, a local author, blogger, statistician. I wear many hats. I teach at the local community college, and I... <coughs> Yes, I yes I have written my book, Weathering Depths in Johnstown by the Numbers, a pun on the novel Weathering Heights. Okay, the cover art for the book, you know, it includes a photo of the famous the famous photo from the Johnstown flood, and it you know with a graph superimposed on it. I have you know the graph goes up. It goes down on the other side, you know, it's been, it was inspired, the cover was inspired by Dark Side of the Moon. So I will read a brief, a brief introduction. So, so basically the story of Johnstown is the story of John, of the Industrial Revolution. It was founded in 1770 by Joseph Schantz, a Mennonite from from Switzerland, who later anglicized his name to Joseph Johns. So, I mean, yes, the trends in population and then the trends in, so it covers the trends in population and the health of the area and in, uh, you know, the seismic shifts that have occurred recently in the politics of the area. You know, it does profile individuals who are working to turn this turn the city around you know there is also a chapter on local local books for me the number that jumps out you know like our county unfortunately has been ranked very low in the has been ranked very low in the county health rankings for the youth for the state I mean recently it was about 60 well 64th out of 67 counties you know, I do delve into the numbers, 
and looking at how how the you know how you know what how things have changed and you know i guess one of the big reasons numbers that jumped out at me is not just the opioid crisis and why our county is ranked low uh another reason is that african-american life expectancy is very short you know like in the book in 2017 it was african-american life expectancy was about 65.6 years you know that's about almost 10 years shorter than it is for African-Americans in, 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 in the U.S. as a whole. Yes, there, is, there was a high rate of child mortality amongst African-Americans and, you know, lots of other reasons. I mean, the opioid crisis, I mean, actually 90% of opioid deaths and other drug overdose deaths in the county were actually among, amongst white people. So yes, I mean a lot of these a lot of these issues they boil down to poverty and you know any effort to turn the city around will have to focus on those areas. You know, I mean not all of it is negative. I did do a a chapter profiling profiling local authors and over forty of them. You know, and and yes. Yes, like other people trying to turn the area around. You know, lots of nonprofits. You know, even someone like a John D. Bartola, who's a regular at at uh, county like county commissioner meetings and uh, lots of other lots of other events. Um, there are it, like it, a profile of my classmate Sean Doherty, who's been campaigning for who's been campaigning for restitution being paid to the victims of Catholic Church sex abuse. Um, so, so yes, I try to provide a complete and as real a picture as possible of the area. Does anyone have any questions? Well, you're all welcome to stop by my tent, K46, for, you know, for further information. Thank you very much, Paul. I'm a John.